How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we figured out that Po Town is insane. There's a guy in a car. There was a guy outside threatening to actually murder us. Or, you know, cut us into pieces. I don't know. This place is weird. Anyway, let's go fight this dude on a car in the rain. One, two, hit three sandbag. Four, five. We're racked six skulls. Are you doing drugs? A lot of them? Maybe you should lay off of them? What on earth did that even mean? Okay, uh, further evidence suggests that Po Town is literally insane. Uh, we are challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Holy crap. That was, uh, that was a trip. I feel like I just went through, like, straight to hell and came back out of it, reading what that guy had to say. Anyway, um, who's hurt? I don't know. It's been a couple days since I last recorded, so I apologize for that. Um, well, it's been one day since I've had an episode out, so... Just a little bit out of the ordinary, I suppose. Your Fomantis going down. I feel like this thing should always be called Four Mantis. I always want to call it Four Mantis. So when I say Faux Mantis, it sounds like I'm trying to be thug, like Team Skull would call it. Like, yo, my Faux Mantis! Also learned Scary Face. No, keep old moves. We'll go ahead and hang on to what we got. Oh, man. So if everything's been cool on your guys' end, it's been, like, abundantly cold. I'm still not back home in Tennessee yet. I've got um, just uh, the rest of this week um, at, my, at my parents' house visiting. So it's been nice. It's been a nice little break. I'm anxious to get back, though, because it's a brand new semester. It's going to be really busy for me, so I'm, like, anxious to get started, but also I don't want to get started, and I don't know. It'll be good to just, like, know what's going on, I guess was what I mean. So I hope everything's been going well for you guys, if you guys are back at school or work or whatever it is you're doing, um, and if it's cold or not for you, because it's so freaking cold. Like, ugh, it's so weird how it gets so cold around, like, uh... Because, like, it doesn't... It, I normally don't see snow on Christmas Day or anything like that. Which is fine. Like, I don't... It's not, like, the worst thing in the world. But, like, sometimes it's like, oh, man, I would like to... Do I not have any... So he's just going to be... Uh, he's just going to be poisoned all the time. So I'll just go ahead and heal him periodically. Because I don't have anything to help that unless... Uh, oh, Rage Candy Bar. We can use that. All right, Whitaker is healthy. I need to go buy more, like, antidotes and things like that. Desperately. Don't poison my stuff anymore, you psychopaths. Um, but anyway, can we actually... Okay, what, I want to see what's on the other side, because there are some things on both sides of it sometimes. Uh, we just got this guy taking a poop. Not really. He's just, I'm done taking cannibal, gambles. I'll kick this habit once and for all. You can put your money on me. All right. Cool. And there's, like, a Murkrow on top of the car. Must be watching too much of that guy sitting on top of his car. Uh, but yeah, Team Skull is pretty, pretty dang weird. We actually... Are you guys... What's wrong with him? Doesn't he see we're getting invaded here? And he's, wa he's just waving back. Good job, guys. Hey, that reminds me. I ever know that guy who was calling us, who was always calling people numbskulls or whatever. What the heck are you even talking about, you psychopath? Um, I don't know what else is going on in Po Town. We can go see what this guy crouching next to a car is doing. Maybe he's looking for a Zygarde cube because there's one literally right next to him. That could have done some serious damage, man. I'm a straight shooter. Straight and simple as an arrow. Good. Thanks for telling me that news. But anyway... Welcome to Team Skull's base of operations, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, it's Shady House. Um, so yeah, Slim Shady lives here. Just kidding, not really. You want to go out here because you can get a really, really sweet item. And we can see what the heck's, heck's going on with that one guy. But if you go over here, you get an Ice Stone, which is the item used to evolve uh, Vulpix into Ninetales and Sandshrew into Sandslash. What's up? What's wrong with him? Why does he keep staring at me? Does he, does he, not, does he see how hot I am or something? Man. This is what I'm talking about with Team Skull being amazing. Amazingly awful, I should say, because they're just super clueless, but I love it about them. What are you guys doing here in Shady House? But anyway, there's a lot of things to check out here, like uh, people sleeping uh, in Shady House. Just kidding. I'm just, I'm not going to call keep calling it Shady House all the time. Why are you just like not doing anything? This dude just like passed out, doesn't give a crap. He just doesn't even care. Uh, hello. We locked eyes for a second there and she was just like, it's fine. Go in and invade stuff. Um, if we come over here, this month's secret Team Skull password is beat up. Okay, good to know. Good to know that they leave their secret password on paper sitting in the middle of, a, sitting in the middle of the room. And that girl somehow didn't see me. But hey, we can go into all these rooms and see little clues hidden about. What's up? I hear that Mr. Guzman never got a Z-ring as a sort of handicap because he's too strong already. Um, I would not agree with that. Hello. She was just like, I'm going to fight you right now. So sorry. As a stranger, you get a full course of my Pokemon's moves. Which I can only assume is one Pokemon and probably a Grimer. Um, because you guys suck. Man, so much Team Skull happening in the, in the past few episodes. It's wild. Uh, yep, one Pokemon. Is it Grimer, too? Is it Grimer? Oh, Haunter. Well, okay. Throwing me for a loop over here. Let's say, how predictable are you? And man, the way that staircase is just, for some reason, reminded me straight up 
of uh, Beast Castle and Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why it didn't. And then Beans, I'm surprised you didn't lick that Haunter. I know how much you're obsessed with it. Well, I'm already confused now, though. It's not happening. Man, sometimes I always forget that you're like Macho Beans now. If we could re-nickname you, I'd probably nickname you Macho Beans. Don't you dare make fun of me. It's not making fun of, I'm just calling you Ma Also, did I ever give you the Incinor Incinium Z? Or do you have like the fire one still? All right, beat him to death. Get him. WrestleMania. I wonder if that's an actual move where you just stand up, put your arms out and spin toward him. And it's like, oh, I'm just doing the, the Lariat or the Lariat. Uh, so I'm gonna, I've, I know I've talked about that for like a couple episodes, if I ever gave him the right Z crystal. Because I don't th I think he's still got the, uh, does he have, no, he doesn't even have Incinium Z. So yeah, it turns Darkest Lariat into an insane, yes, I want to switch the two. Because it's bean specific, so of course I'm gonna give him it. And it's awesome, why would we not? Um, we could give him Ethereum Z, but comparatively it's not nearly as cool. We've been collecting every last shard of Buginium Z in Alola for Mr. Guzma. So all that Mr. Guzma can be sure- okay, he's the strongest bug Pokemon user around, okay. I'm sure that's really intimidating, Guzma. Bug Pokemon are not intimidating at all. Uh, this month's C <laughs> Team Skull password is Tapu Coco. Get it? It's an actual thing you can get at uh, a lot of the coffee shops in the Pokemon Center too, so that's pretty cool. Tapu Coco. I dare somebody to go to Starbucks and order, Hello, I would like one Tapu Coco, please, and they'll just be like, Shut up. You know that's what they do. Actually, I don't know. I've never- I don't go to Starbucks often, so I don't know. I hear it's nice. I-, I What did he just say? What did he just say? There was like a weird voice that- what did he say? Oh, I'm gonna have to listen to that in like post. Because I want to know what the F he just said. It sounded like he did, he said something that wasn't even English. Or just like words in general. It just sounded like... Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what? <laughs> it sounded like he was just like freaking out. Uh, so that was weird. Beans, please kill Zabat. Who's to say I don't get confused by a bat again? I don't know. Who's to say? You just don't don't get confused by a bat. That's all I have to say. Use your darkest layer. We should also show off the Z move. That would be pretty cool, honestly. I've never shown off. I haven't shown off Incinium Z yet. Which is interesting that it converts a dark type move. Um, oh, you want to lick this Ghastly? Oh my gosh, I haven't licked a Ghastly in so long. You think that's a good idea? Um, no, but I know how much you want to do it. So go get him. Oh, it's going to be great. I love the taste of gas. Do you? Do you go to, like, the gas station and just drink it? And just drink out of it? No. Are you lying to me? Yes. If there was a poke gas station, I would drink gas. Okay. That doesn't sound like you're saying drink gas. Anyway, uh, never mind. We're just gonna go ahead and switch out to switch out to Hedge here to take on this Salandit, which is just one of the coolest Pokemon, man. I really like Salandit and Salazzle, Salazzle. However you say it, whatever. Pokemon pronunciations are never straightforward. Lycanroc is probably Lycanroc or something like that. They probably say it weird in the anime. Or correct, and I'm saying it weird. I don't know. I always mess up pronunciations, and I feel like everyone else does too. Like all my friends used to call uh, Rayquaza Rayquaza, which now saying that just sounds weird to me. Saying Ray Rayquaza just seems super weird to me. And it looks like one of the one door is super barricaded. So yeah, this place is a little unsettling with the uh, with all the stuff on the walls and all the creepy rooms we can go into. Is this the weird... Okay, there's a TM in here, which is TM... Ooh, Sludge Bomb. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know who can learn that, but it's a good... It's a solid uh, special poison type move, which is good for wiping out those fairies. I think this is the funny room. Yeah, it is. What's up, ladies? OMG! Please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no wonder it stinks. It's the same design, though. Burn! That was my air horn sound. Uh, what? It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello, our names are all grunt. <laughs> What's the point? Wow. Meta? Much? Are you guys throwing up gang signs or talking? Ooh, a boy. I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. Okay, ladies, teach me a lesson in this room. Go for it. What happens if you're a girl in there? Do they go like, oh, a girl. I guess we'll have to teach her a lesson. I, f I don't know if that's what they would say. Because... I don't know, it's- I don't know what they're insinuating in this scene. It's just goofy, I think. And you have a Rattata! Why are you allowed to be here? Why did Guzma say this was okay? Why did he- why would he be like, yep, bring the girl with the Rattata. With the one Rattata, who's level 35 and she didn't bother to evolve it at all. 
Bring her. Put her in our base of operations. No. Team Skull Grunt. How do I undo this development? What? What are you even talking about? All right, anyway, that was strange. How embarrassing. I guess I really am just a grunt. Well, I mean, that's your name. Whoa, that was like so uncool. I'll get a revenge on you while still wearing your skull tank. Or I'll get revenge for you. Or whatever. I don't know what the F is going on in here. These girls mixed up their shirts somehow and then are attacking me out of rage, I guess. It's Team Skull. What do you expect? They're freaking nutcases. And oh, she's the better one, obviously. She listened to what I had to say. She was like, fine, I will evolve mine real quick. That's probably what she was doing while we were battling the other other girl. She was all about like, I'm gonna evolve this Raticate right now. I need to use, I need to not go against a dark type Pokemon so I could use Incineum, uh, the Z power for Incineroar. It's pretty cool to actually finally have Incineroar too because um, I see a lot of use of Decidueye. Um, I see a lot of, uh, I use Primarina in Moon. Uh, so I never really saw much of Incineroar, so it's pretty cool to finally be using him. And it's good because I can give myself a Litten Egg. So I will have all three starters in, uh, in Pokemon Moon. Because I got a, I got a, uh, Rowlet Egg from my brother, so that was cool. What is this, too severe? What was? Me beating up your giant, deformed, gross rat monster? Yeah, too severe. Um... Uh, her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. Okay. Great. Why did we fade out for a second? I don't know what the heck's going on in there. It's just people to fight, I guess. And there's some guy throwing up gang signs just walking down the hallway. Uh, do we want to... What did he say? That was like... That sounded like words. He's like, don't go or something like that. There's like actual word, like voice acting right now. What did he say? I can't be like, Siri, what did he say? Because, oh, I also wondered if that would have turned that on on my phone because, oh, he's got a faux mantis. Faux mantis throwing up those gang signs. Getting ganged up. All right, just beat him up. Just, let's use, let's use in the Z power on it because why the heck not? Malicious what, Salt? What was that? Oh yeah, darkness. Oh, this is awesome. This, I've never seen this before, so this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be so cool. All right, get him, Beans. Malicious Moon Salt. Oh my gosh, that was wild. But come on, that was even a wrestling ring. And he's not a fighting type. That was even a wrestling ring. I've never seen that before. That's really funny. All right, well, sorry to completely decimate your Fomantis like that. Uh, uh, your Fomantis. Oh, there's also more paper over here. What does it say? Galissapod. Ah, yes, one of, uh, one of Guzma's favorites for some reason. A lot of people like Galissapod. I am not one of those people. All right, well, that's enough. That's a good amount of healing for Beans. And Beans is almost level 40, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, we are almost to the, uh... This guy's just throwing up his gang signs over here. But anyway, if we talk to this guy over here, greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give us the three passwords. No. Good, glad to see you got no bones about obeying our sacred traditions. Uh, and I think, or wait, what is it? Um, you say yes, and then you tell him. Uh, wait, do you get it wrong? Is that what it is? Tell me the second most password. What does he like best? Cause I know that this is, uh, I know you're not supposed to say you think the passwords are a it's not Hyper Beam. Are you sure about that? No. Good. Glad to see you now. Yeah, you have to, you have to, wait, what? You have to tell him you're not sure or something like that? Greetings, visitor. Yeah, I know. What the heck? Um, do I have to get them right and then say no? I know I have to, like, disobey what it is. Beat up. I know these are the right answers, um, but I've only done this once before, so I don't remember what the, what the correct thing to do is. Tapu Goko. Uh, because I think even if you say yes, he says, like, you think I'm Thick Skull? Get out of here. Go home. It's not enough to get the passwords right, you numbskull. Then you should know how Team Skull works. Look around this match and see if you can learn. It's like, it's something you have to say to him, where it's like, um, uh, I don't, I don't remember what it is. Maybe we have to talk to battle this guy over here? I don't remember what, what the, it's something with, like, the way you respond to him. And I don't know to guess, do you have an invitation? I don't remember what the, what the thing you're supposed to say to him. Oh, shoot, I sh I'm trying to remember. Um, but we can fight this guy while I, while I try and remember what it is, because it's, it's something involving the way that you are supposed to, supposed to talk to him. Um, or the way you're supposed to give the answers to him. 
I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, shoot, what is it? Because it was it's something when you say no. Uh, it's there's like a there's like a I don't know if we have to find the because I I think there's like a paper somewhere or something that says like uh, you always say you're always supposed to say no. But I don't I don't remember. It's something with that guy. Um, but I don't remember. I'm trying to think of what it is. Uh, shoot, I, is it? God dang it, I wish I could remember. It's like, you have to give him the answers and tell him no? Or something? I thought that's what I did. Beat up, it's beat up Galissapod Tapu Coco. Maybe I need to find the other thing? If he, if he says the same deal to me, because I don't even remember what I said to him. But if he says the same thing to me, and like doesn't let me through, then I probably have to find the little note that says no, which is in another room somewhere. Because I know there's a note that says, I'm pretty sure. Because it's something involving telling him no. So I'm gonna say the things again. Uh, give me the passwords, sure. Uh, what is move does he like best? Beat up. Um, he likes Galissapod. And he likes Tapu Koko. Do you think the passwords are beat up Galissapod and Tapu Koko? Are you sure about that? And if I say no. Oh yeah, yeah, so I just didn't, I just didn't do that. Yeah, you're one of us, bonehead. Yeah, that's, there's another piece of paper somewhere that says, like, the best thing about Team Skull is how they say no. Or something like that. You got that crazy quiz right, clever kid. I knew you could. Now onto the boss's room. Was that a quiz, Rotom? I don't know if I'd call it that, but... Oh, can we not? There's just, like, a Murkrow hanging out on the... That's weird. But, yeah, we can hang out out here on top of the roof. Go get this item over here, which is an escape rope. I don't know how useful that is in the big shady house, but what do you got to say? Oh, she like, yelled something, too. I was like, woo! Looking for a battle in a romantic spot, hmm? Yeah, you know, girl, when I think of romantic spots, nothing gets my mind and and uh, romantic bones going than in the rain on top of a roof. That's it, that's that's my number one spot. That's my number one da dating advice, guys. Golden Bolt's dating advice. Always. Also, how did we get outside this far away from the house? Always go on a date on the roof in the rain. Okay, because if you don't do that, I mean, how do you expect to, how do you expect to get a girlfriend even? How do you expect to get a wife if you don't go on the roof in the pouring rain in a town with psychopaths who stand on cars? I don't know how you expect to make it in this world. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking. This is what hanging around Team Skull too much does to you, I guess. Nice, Deku's getting up there. Still the lowest though. I guess nobody likes Team Skull after all. Oh, that's so upsetting. I like Team Skull. I think they're hilarious. But anyway, guys, I guess we are going to hang out here on this romantic rooftop. Actually, do we have time to go in there? We can hop in there. I think there's a little bit uh, we can do before we end this episode off. Like, talk to these guys. What's up, homies? You think it's a good idea to go in there? Man, you don't know fear, do you? Uh, you think it's good... Uh, I don't think you know the answer inside here. We can go in here, right? St at least end off the episode in this room. What's up, Guzma? The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, your boy Big Bad Guzma's here! Oh, you know it. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm here for the Pokemon, not you, sir. Oh, Young Goose? How sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> And we've got uh, one of his boys over here, and a lot of, a lot of Bugginium Z I can see over there. You came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch for, out for your own Pokemon, stay out of other people's businesses? <laughs> You're one messed up kid, and I'm one psychopathic white-haired freak. You want to know what I do uh, when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. Oh yeah, guys. It's time to have yet another battle with the boss of Team Skull, your boy, Guzma. You were challenged by your boy, Team Skull boss, Guzma, who still only has two Pokemon, and one of them is definitely Galissapod because it's his favorite. And it's weird looking and kind of gross, honestly. It's kind of really disgusting looking. Ah, oh, crap, I gotta fight this gross thing. Yeah, I know. It's not that bad, though, Beans. But anyway, guys, the battle with Guzma will commence at the beginning of the next episode. Get ready. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.